John chapter 21, verse 25. And there are also many other things which Yahushua did, the which if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going into Yahweh Shai did way more than we know on this earth. Okay, when Yahweh Shai walked the earth, he did way, way more. Okay, than what is written that we read about and we get excited about. You know, way more. That's why I started with the scripture, man. I'm going to read it again. John 21, verse 25. And there are also many other things which Yahweh did, the which, if they should be written, every one, right, which proves it's not written. A lot is not written down in the books. Okay. It says, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. And the world is huge. So why would John use that analogy? Because the world is big, which tells you that it's a lot that we do not know about Yahweh Shai and what he did on the earth, man. Okay. He was doing a lot. So when you can think about why he was so hated on, you know, and people trying to set him up, Jake's trying to set him up, hating on him mad because they felt like he was getting a shine because his name, Yahweh Shai, was going around heavy. All right, because of the power of Yahweh that was in Yahweh Shai. Okay, like Yahweh Shai said, you know, he was very humble. He said, it's the Father in me, okay, that's doing these works, that's doing these miracles. It's the Father within me, the power of the Father of Yahweh. All right? So Yahweh Shai did a lot. Okay, now, when you think about miracles... It was a lot more miracles, but also in general, things that he did. Okay, things that he did in general, along with the miracles, many miracles, all right, that are not written down. And we're going to find that out in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we're going to find that out. I don't know how it's going to happen, you know, if it's going to be a big old book and, you know, or, you know, we see a hologram and be able to go back and watch the different things that Yahweh Shai did that wasn't written in the book, we're going to see. Okay, but let's go here. Let's go to Matthew chapter 12. I'm going to start at verse 1 because it's going to show you how, you know, there was really picking at Yahweh Shai and his men. All right. And then when the miracle started happening, they really was pissed off. <laughs> let's start at Matthew chapter 12, verse 1. It says, at that time, Yahweh Shai went on the Sabbath day through the corn and his disciples were hungry and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, behold, thy disciple do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, have you not read what David did when he was hungry and they that were with him, how he entered into the house of Yahweh and did eat the shoe bread? which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests. Or have you not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if you had known what this meaneth, I would have mercy and would not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. And when he was departed thence, he went into the synagogues. Verse 10. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. Right. So he had something wrong with his hand. Nerve problems. OK. Handicap. All right. In his hand. And it says, and they asked him, saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? <laughs> Trying to set him up, man. OK, verse 11, he said unto them, what man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? Right. So you're trying to be overrighteous and you have those same guys here today doing the same thing. All right. Verse 12. How much then is a man better than a sheep? 
Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. So remember that, Israelites. You sincere Israelites out there, man, don't overthink. OK, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. All right. Yahweh Shai said that. Verse 13. Then said he to the man, stretch forth thy hand. He stretched it forth and it was restored whole like as the other. OK, boom. A powerful miracle right there, man. OK, then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him, how they might destroy him. So you can imagine the talk. Yahweh doing things like that. You can imagine the talk, man. OK, but remember, as we read this, everything is not written down. OK, so the Pharisees was pissed off way more than we could imagine because they heard more. OK, then we read. Let me say that again. The wicked Pharisees, they heard more and seen more that Yahweh Shah did. OK, and that people talked about that he did in the miracles and the healings. Then we read. OK, so right there puts a lot more weight on why they was pissed off. It puts a lot more weight, a heavy weight. OK, of the Pharisees being envious and being pissed off and being haters, man. Straight haters, man. Straight haters, man. OK, let's read verse 15. This is the point. It says, but when Yahweh knew it, he withdrew himself from thence and great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. So great multitudes that were sick. That's a lot of sick people. Multitudes is a lot, man. OK, that's not a small number. That is a lot. OK, I can't tell you the number, the exact number, but just know that the multitudes is a lot. Matter of fact, let me go to Google real quick. And type in multitude. Okay, multitudes. In the Google definition, it says a large number of people or things. Okay. It says the state of being numerous. So a lot, man. Okay, a lot. Multitudes. Also keep in mind that when you read the prophecies about the militaries, trying to gang up to fight Yahweh Shah when he come, it said a multitude came. Okay. So keep that in mind. So it was a lot of people. It was a lot of Jakes that were sick, that had problems and that needed to be healed. Okay. A lot of them. Let's read it again. Matthew 12 verse 15. But when Yahweh Shah knew it, he withdrew himself from thence and great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. So you think all those miracles that he did in the healings, were written down? No. Okay. When we read, we only read about a couple, man. But it was multitudes that came and he said he healed them all. That's a lot of healing that is not written down. So we're going to find that out in the kingdom. That's going to be beautiful to find that out in the kingdom. All the people, all the Jakes he healed. Okay. The different stories, the different ailments they had, you know, in the details, man. OK, now how that's going to play out, we're going to see it's a mystery. We're going to see in the kingdom, man. But think about that. Think about that. We're going to find out a lot more what happened of what we read about and more of the details in the kingdom. The Lord has saved it for the kingdom of heaven. He's made it a mystery and only gave us a little bit, man. But even that little bit, we are very excited about to talk about, to meditate about. You know, it pumps you up, man. You're like, wow. Yahweh Shai did that. He did that. Well, he did a lot more. OK, so hopefully this is edifying for you, brothers and few sisters that listen. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to you. I come out there that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.